All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. More gentlemen than ladies, though, right? <laughs> According to the analytics. But nevertheless, we're back at it again in more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're here in Cosmo Canyon. Um, for some reason, it's loaded up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bit of a frog in my throat there. <clears throat> I do apologize. Um dumb reason it's loaded us back a little bit prior to where we were but nevertheless we're just gonna have a little walk back up here um and just get back to where we were i do believe it's this area right oh there it is do we see red going up the lift i don't know why it does that by the way like when you get a save on the game sometimes you'll reload it and it'll put you back ever slightly Maybe a, a few minutes before, like uh, like it's a snapshot save or something. Very, very perplexing, very upsetting sometimes. Am I joking? But nevertheless, we're back here with Cloud and his gorgeous hairdo. Hope it doesn't upset too many follically challenged males out there, including myself. But that is a very thick head of hair that he has there, and we're. Accompanied by Tifa and Erif here. I'm not sure whether I had Barrett with me yesterday, actually. I'll have to recheck that. But he's very, very faithful to the OG Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation. Uh, the PS1 or the PS1 Classic or whatever they call it these days. Just a PlayStation to me, but there you go. But um, the way they've renovated. Uh, and updone some of the original locations. There's a couple of comparison videos out there on YouTube that I've actually looked at. And I was thinking about maybe doing a video, but it felt a little bit too much like I was stealing content. Um, as I don't have the original um, to do it myself. Well, I do. I have it on Steam, but it would just take me far too long to find all the locations oh, and whatnot. The friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. Nanaki. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> I'm still a little bit confused about Red. Red 13's like du duality voice. He's got like a deep, mature, elder voice. That's more than old enough. And this young pup voice. If anybody un un understands that or knows why it is, uh, send it for the comments. I, I was supposed to look it up yesterday, but I actually forgot. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> the reimagining some of these characters is just truly amazing. I know I say it far too often, but every time I see one, I'm just like, wow, this is it's too much. It's too good. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. So I'm guessing he's some sort of mystical being, obviously, being 48 and still a child. Clearly lives a lot longer. Other than your average uh, human, or whatever they call them in Cosmo Canyon. Um, I'm presuming he's some sort of mystic or protector or something. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. So... If I remember correctly, at some point, we will be using the telescope. Are these materia? These are pretty cool, right? Well, that may like the little attention to detail that they've done. Very, very good. 
It is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out the full depths of your beauty. There's a lot of stuff about that, about memory in the planet and the ancients and a lot of reference to the planet being alive. Um, they really do go more in depth. I will say that this game is easier to understand story-wise than the OG Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, still blatantly obvious, I mean, how things are going and stuff. I mean, it still does have that air of mystery and they still keep certain elements sort of a bit puzzling and stuff like that. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. I was always like under the impression that Hojo made Red 13. But apparently not. Apparently he was uh, born and kidnapped. So, I mean, there's even elements of the game that I misunderstood back in the day. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Got some bits and bats over here we can loot. Let's have a look. I wonder if we go back down or we just keep climbing. I think the telescope's at the top. Oh my god, look at this. Let me just take a moment here. Holy moly. That just looks phenomenal. Damn. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. That is There's pretty no amazing. A few of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. I wonder if we have to uh, clean it up. Perhaps. Or maybe we don't get to use it. I'm not even sure. A little bit of a, a nausea around here. See if there's anything worth looting. Nothing. This is beautifully complex. Look at that attention to detail. This is just that truly phenomenal. I mean, where are we going to be 10 years from now? That's what I'm wondering. If this is the state of games right now. I'm uh, still investigating the audio pops that you might have heard um, during the playback of this video. I do apologize for that. We are working on a solution. It's taking longer than I would have liked, though. But hopefully by the end of today, maybe tomorrow, we should have it resolved. That's... The planet crying out. A sorrowful dirt indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corral and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. <laughs> he um, thinks they're crazy. Excuse me? That's funny. Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. 
So I wonder if he's crazy or stuck in his ways or if he actually is going to show us something. Could be like the Final Fantasy equivalent of a flat earther. What the hell? Ooh, what's this? I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Wow, that is sick. Wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. All that soft diffused lighting on the character models as well. So good. I wonder if it's pre-rendered or rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. The life stream, yeah, ma'am. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. Some of the Hojo's try and tap into in Shinra it is and get the to the promised land, if there is star. such a place. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted. Well, the planet would die, right? Wow. That must have been pre-recorded. The graphics were far too clean. Of course. These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy? which we're using up. Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. If it's not used okay. in living beings, it, it can't recycle. Fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. <laughs> hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. Education. I love his outfit. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come?
higher learning. Participate in the seminar with Tifa and Aerith. Okie dokie. Go make our way over there now. I may momentarily try and switch the capture card over to a slightly. Different frame rate, there you go. Just to see if it is a frame rate incompatibility that could be causing the audio pops. I've tried literally everything else up to this point. And I've currently got a ticket in with Ava Media to resolve the said issue. Uh, just hope it can be resolved. Either that or we will be purchasing a newer capture card. I mean, you just got to think of the amount of time it took them to do all these little fine work details from hand. It must have took them absolutely ages. Such uh, an intricate thing. Every every sort of big major building landmark has such personality. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Ooh, let's go. So we get some of Something useful, something cool, maybe a weapon. I like surprises. I wonder what it is. Might be a material of some kind. Moogle medals. Is that all? There's got to be more in here, right? There has to be a weapon of some kind. Five thousand gil. Five thousand dollar. Keep our eyes open for a purple chest. We've got another yellow here. It's quite a deep room, so. Hopefully, there's going to be some sort of super weapon in here that we can take with us. Really teasing us right now with all these stairwells and whatnot. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's a purple. It's a purple, baby. Let's go. Oh, it's for bloody Kate Seth. Crystal Megaphone. Let's hope there's another one. Not that I don't like Kate Sith, but... I mean, any weapon's a good weapon, you know? Like Pokemon, gotta catch them all, tackle. Right this way. I'm just wondering where the uh, convention actually is. Have a look here. Higher learning. It's quite a way off, actually. Is this going back on ourselves, or...? My sense of direction is terrible. Nevertheless, there's quite a lot of goodies to still be had up and around this area. I'm just wondering how we go about getting to that area. It's 
have a look. We might just have to make our way right the way back down to the bottom. That's the storeroom. Got the ladder. Uh, sorry, the ladder. The lift. <laughs> yeah, the ladder. <laughs> I'm such a senile old man, you know? I wonder if Nanaki will end up coming with us, uh, Red or Stain. I hope he, I hope he comes with. Um, that's uh, oh, hey, oh, here we are. This village is lame. And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. <laughs> Good old you for that. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means. Please come and join the seminar. Oh, here we go. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy? A bit of hand holding. Nevertheless, I don't mind. I would have got lost otherwise, if I'm brutally honest. Many travelers have joined. A seminar is in progress. I love. Always been on the bigger side, but please continue on into the assembly. Painting and poetry are more blessings of the planet. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. According to him, it seemed like they're all in some sort of cult or something. Twice as much spiritual energy as other folks, and I was a burden on. Bravo. You, miss? you must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back. Defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. She probably, they probably just think she's crazy. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The river of lights is almost upon us. So let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. Very interesting. Let's go. I'm going to go to the charge now. I wonder if that's like the big campfire that we went past in the last episode. It would make sense. Okay, let's go this way. There's a lift at the end of here, I think, if I remember rightly. 
And there it is. Going down. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I was right. Why do we get the feeling something crazy is about to happen? Speak to them all. Hopefully, bolster our relationship. Gathered around the fire, just like us that day. Me and mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride. I, I feel like it'll burst. But. When it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Well, there's some unresolved issues <laughs> with I his parents the there. Talking to a mentor said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? Um... No. No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Mer. I'm kind of wondering what happens if you go against them all and make, make nothing but nasty comments. It has crossed my mind, obviously. Did I sound as Because I'm being a goody two-shoes and I'm saving the planet. You did good. You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. So, we've deepened our relationship. Very good, very nice. Who's left? You want to make sure that you take every advantage wherever these conversations uh, with these scenarios. You can toggle these on and off using L1. But if you're in an environment where the uh, untogg untoggleable, <laughs> is, is that a word? Uh, where you can't turn them on and off, you basically want to be speaking to them all. When you die, you return. That has literally... Even if you just die. literally skip through and uh, just just say the nice things if you want to go nice. and. Yeah, I totally agree. I think picking <laughs> the... Nasty answers is kind of more difficult on some of them. With you. Well, obviously, we can't say that. I don't think we've got any relationship built up yet. Grains of sand, fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong, but sitting here looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Like a grain of sand on the beach that is. So perhaps it's not even an option. We can't say. Scythe. To it. Scythe. I know there's been some talk on Reddit and Twitter about how his name's pronounced. Upsetting a lot of people. So if I've triggered you, I do apologise. It was not my intention, man. Oh. The Sacred Torch. They like clapping, don't they? Gearing them on. So, I'm an ancient. As in, a steward of the planet. One of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. 
I've been ignored, even hated, and it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time, I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. So I didn't know whether to encourage or smile there. Hmm. Your relationship with her if it's changed. Oh, is that good or bad? So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. I'm undecided whether I really like her happy-go-lucky attitude or whether it's kind of and pissing me off. Pain? Feels worth it. I think she's very true to the original design, though. Which is more important than what I think, to be fair. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Yay! Well done, Arith. You go, girl. Kind of crazy how they sort of incorporate some real world sort of values, religions and stuff like that. Put a bit of a twist on them. I think a lot of things do that though, like Star Wars and stuff like that. A lot of fantasy stuff is sort of grounded in the real world. There's something about this scene that's very familiar from the original, original game. Really gives off perfect Final Fantasy VII vibes. I know there are people out there, possibly you're watching right now, that don't particularly game, but they just play Final Fantasy. I do know there, there are some severely high. hardcore, ride or die, Whoa. Final oh. Fantasy VII is the only game for them. And they just constantly play it, mod it, and play about with it. And I hope they get as much enjoyment out of these remasters, remakes, that they did out of the original. But I kind of feel these are kind of pointed at a different audience. Beautiful game though. Beautiful. Pretty savvy, huh? <laughs> like the little details like a bow and the little necklace and stuff. It's just really good. Meant every word though. Bless her. There's moments where I really like her and I'm like, oh, that's great. And then other times I'm like, oh, mm, you're a little bit annoying now. Maybe that's kind of the idea. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? Those guys, you <laughs> these old guys kind of crazy. For whatever reason, so the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale Reservoir. So, I, ask for their I think they often speak of how have we reduced? So she's on four, they were even what, three, and what's uh, Tifa on? We've got him on three. Tifa's on three. So oh, it looks like we're doing uh, we're doing things right. I think that the River of Lights possesses such power. Alas, 
My hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual so, curiosity. If you are a returning they viewer, I just wanted to take a moment. People are surrounded by cats. Probably not the right time as Bugenhagen is talking. Uh, to explain the channel rebrand from UK Dark Fox to Vapes and Games. I created the UK Dark Fox name many, many moons ago. Um, actually on the launch day of Xbox Live. Back in the day. And I may do a separate video on this explaining. Um, where essentially it asked me many questions about my favourite animal, my favourite colour, my date of birth. Uh, my favourite TV shows. So, my TV show was X-Files. My colour was black. My favourite animal was a fox. Um, and a few other things. And it came up with many um, iterations and uh, suggestions for a name. And it came up with UK Dark Fox. And me and my friends sat there and were like, obviously this is the first time a live service or anything like this had ever been born on a console. It's a very great deal, um, and we went with it, UK Data Fox, and I was known by that name for a very, very, very long time. So, over 20 years, in fact. But as I've matured and grown as a gamer, it really doesn't fit me anymore, or what I am. Um, the icon and stuff, I mean, there's many, many reasons, um... But I thought this door but, uh, was... But, you know, two two things that I really enjoy is vaping and gaming. I'm a little bit more mature, so I just... I felt like it was time to maybe move on. However, uh, Sometimes change can be good and refreshing, so I hope you understand. And it's not upset too many people. But I really do want to grow on YouTube and Twitch and my other social media platforms and build a good community. And I hope that you join me on that endeavor. In carrying out the if trial, you're watching this video right now, you matter. And uh, I want you to know that. I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Undertake the trial. So whenever it gives us uh, a little bit of a crossroad, it kind of means, you know, do you want to go back now, explore the area, do a little bit? Are we, are we done and we're moving forward? Obviously, when I'm coming to my second playthrough, I'm going to be 100% in every little element. For the sake of this playthrough, we're obviously covering the main basis of the story. So we are going to move forward. And off we go. Got a few Queen's Blood card games there and a few little bits and bats to tidy up, but nothing that's going to really impact the final overarching story, which I think my viewers will be most interested in. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. So that's what that green stuff is that we keep seeing. That's the live stream. What? Sometimes the lighting effects in this game are very jarring when you transition from dark to light. And then you get other times where it's just simply breathtaking. The global illuminations and... You could almost... It's almost on par with ray tracing. It's that good. It's that good. But it seems to be a recurring theme with this game. When it's good, it's very, very good. And when it's bad, it's terrible. We'll stay tuned for my full review after completion. So we're going to activate the lift here. Definitely more episodes than I thought it would be. I think we're on episode 35 Has currently. Has told you anything about his parents yet? Kind of crazy. They were watchers. Both of them, but they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? Oh. I see. Go Bugenheim. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. I mean, we're obviously going to check Cloud, gonna right? Observe? I'll do it. It's going to be Cloud and Red. It's got to be, right? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? Oh, cool. Him? I love playing really? Barrett. At least pretend not to hate me. I'm a whole bomb hey. ready, baby. <laughs> I like Barrett me. Oh, what? Why am I controlling red? So. Oh. Just before we continue here. Um, we've got a few points to be uh, spending. So let's spend them. Let's have a look what we value the most here. Increases MP. Forget about it. Reduces fire, ice, lightning, and wind damage. No brainer. Got to take it, right? 10% damage reduction across the board. We'll take that. Barrett, my little feathered friend, even though you're not feathered. Uh, let's have a look. Weapon and ability damage by 3%. Standard. Temporarily unlimited MP. Increasing overcharge. Reload when staggering enemies. It's HP recovery. 10%. That's quite good, actually. Increase the amount of energy regained when charging. Increases defense by 35. Hmm. Is that just a physical reduction? I think Barrett is more of a tanky style character, so it's a bit thematic for me. I think I'll go with that. Um, we'll also... Um, see if we've got... Get a few... Uh, get a couple of Mega Potions just in case they come in handy. Grab two of these and have a look if we've got large use subversion spells, resistance to instant death, disempowerment allows you to use physical magic attacks, reduces spell pairing, warding materia, grants resistance to link materia. That's pretty cool. So we put that in a link slot with, say, fire. Then we'll take reduce fire damage chakra. Restore your own HP and cure poison. The amount restores relative to the damage received. Oh, nice. We've got some more prayer material. We definitely need a couple of these. There's no doubt about it. We need to get those leveled up. We've got eight of these. Get four of these MP up. Look up. I think we need uh, a couple of those. I am master steadfast block. Road warrior bangle. Um, ba -da 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 -da. Uh, this gives us massive physical defense, but our magical defense is rather low. And the snail shell, snail shell bracelet. Pretty good. We are spending up here, though. We want to leave a little bit of money in reserve. Um. Okay. So, we're pretty much set here, I think. So, we need to be unlocking the... Um, Passive abilities. No, oh, prioritize attack. Forgive me for using the auto weapon upgrade. Uh, it's just a time saving mechanism. Whilst we uh, push through here. And Barra, uh, hold on. So, we've got the new bangle as well. 
Dale Shell bracelet. Quite good, actually. We'll still do the same. Paul Barrett. And then we're obviously going to do our materia here. Yo, so, first things first, we want to make sure everyone's got a HP up. And an MP up. Poison, precision defense. Uh, we'll do a fire. And we'll do a lightning. HP up, HP up. We'll do an MP up. We may actually do a look up here as well. This bonus can't see 100% when more than one is equipped. Increase your luck. I'm going to do a little bit of reading up on the look up materia. I'm not entirely sure what it actually does. Um, a lot of these things are still up in the air for me. Prayer. And I'm going to give uh, a prayer to Red as well. So we've got Shiva and we've got Ifrit. Uh, I may put Ifrit actually. Swap. With Barrett. I do like Ifrit, it's my favourite. So let's uh let's crack on with the show, baby. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> so is Red doing the trial of Barra? This? this is a place of so We are fine with both here. So we're going to use our chilling raw here. We want to level that up. We also want to be leveling up uh, Barrett's ability. Oh, we didn't actually check his weapon. Not bad. We should have changed that to be fair. We'll look into doing that right now. I thought I forgot something. So this one is point blank. This is our new uh, item that we farmed in Gorgon Jungle. Uh, G Gongaga. Gorgon. Why do you keep saying Gorgon? Uh, yeah. If we farm this anyway. This is a great weapon. Um, we definitely want to be uh, using. We've actually got an extra materia slot here. So we could uh, stick something in here. Something that we'd like to level. Hmm. There's always a trick with enemy skill. The other thing that I find rather interesting about this game is the fact that Materia does augment primary stats and stuff. Like, Steadfast Block there. You get plus one to Defense, Magic Defense, Spirit and Luck. Um, precision Defense um, extends the window for blocking. Sort of parrying Dark Souls style. Very, very interesting mechanic. Very useful in this game. I find it's uh, very good. Uh, it does a lot there. of stagger, a lot of stun. And I think it's uh, very uh, important. Uh, look here. <sighs> Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Okay. Kind of crazy, right? That's new. Hi, Ether. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 
Let's have a little bit of a look around here. There might be some secrets, eh? A little bit of a gander around. Check if there's uh, anything here for the old red or Nanaki, as we now know he's known. This place is giving me the creeps. Love these little sub segments that kind of bolster the uh, the personality of these characters. Really reminds you, I know it sounds daft, but like of Sonic and Ed Sonic the Hedgehog. Like we use like knuckles to do certain things, tails to do others, Sonic to do other things. I mean I know I know they're completely like nothing alike in any way, shape or form, but um, from the standpoint of the uniqueness of the abilities and stuff like that, how different characters or maybe even Mario, uh, the Mario games where you can pick like Princess Peach, Luigi, Wario, stuff like that. And they've all got like their own little twist on things. This is kind of like a, a deepened version of something like that. It's the only sort of real comparison I have for you. I'm sure there's another one that will spring to mind, but currently, can't bloody think. Oh, let's fight these. Might as well get the XP. So, we're going to use Chilling Rover leveling that up, right? She's not super effective. Uh, but I do feel that the most important materia is prayer. Two reasons. One, it doesn't use MP. It's actually an ability, not a spell. Number two, it heals your entire party. There will be times on harder difficulties where you're not able to heal multiple targets and you will need to because of the vast amount of AOE that will uh, will get a lot harder hitting for stuff later on. So we'll do veggies mode here. Siphon Fang, boom. Siphon Fang, boom. Siphon Fang, boom. We'll do our chilling color, uh, chilling roar again. Well, it's not very effective. Uh, let's uh, let's use. Right. So good, good note to know. You have got to be very close to the target. It's not a melee attack. It has got a little bit of range, but it's basically like uh, a knockback blast. That Barrett can actually do. Very good. Just trying to use the uh, steadfast block there. Let's uh, try this ability now. Oh, it does a lot of damage though. the hell was red oh he's over there oh, I've actually cast that on the wrong target no my turn I wish red didn't spin around as much he kind of spins a lot in a lot of his attacks. It's a bit, a bit OTT, to be fair. The prayer material here. That was a good one. So I did a precision block there. It's pretty good. Well, with me. Do wild charge with the phantom fang here. Obviously, going to use um, we'll use our prayer ability. Prayer. Now, the thing is, the only thing about prayer, you can't actually use it out of combat. So just be, uh, just be aware of that. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get another point blank off here. Uh, just before the uh, fight is over. Ooh. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Heals healing for an incredible amount currently. We use Nana Key's ability to run up the walls. Have a little bit of a little bit of a scout about here. Hey, where'd you run off to? Think she's bloody Spider Man. Spider pig, Spider pig. Let's go. Should have blocked that, really. There we go. So we'll use prayer again, get it leveled up. Switch to Barrett. Use Buster Shark. And we'll do two point blanks here. Or one. Was it a two bar ability that? Ooh. Interesting. Until we cut the rope. How do we do that? The rope goes this way. I'm presuming we have to climb up here. Damn if that's looking for you. Have a little look up here as well. There could be another secret to be had. Meow. I do like the way you run faster when you're running down as opposed to running up. That's these little touches like that are really make a game. I feel. Um, can we keep following the rope? Do, 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 do. This is a bloody long rope. Like we did, we probably passed the rope earlier on, right? Uh, let's have a look. Go for it. Need my help, do you? Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Don't stop now. So point blank is indeed a two bar ability. Would make oh my god that damage. Nice. So we've got the rope here. What how, where on earth is this rope going? Golly, it's not going all the way back. Am I actually following the right thing here, or am I just a noob? Or is this just the cable for the wires? Have I just ran all the way back? Oh my god. I'm such a noob, sorry. So there must have been another rope that we need to cut. I did think I was supposed to follow the rope and sort of put it off, but I've clearly 
a mistake on what I was supposed to do here. I found another box though. For some reason, I just felt like I, like I couldn't block there. Right, so these are weak to lightning. Let's use a uh, point blank. Ah, so you can do a weaker version. Right, to point blank, you can do a weaker version or a fully all-in charged up version, which is kind of crazy. I didn't realize that that was the case. The praise two bars. Now that was something else. So we need to keep moving. Hold on. There does appear to be a rope here. I only got two legs here, you know. Ah, we found it, okay. My bad, my bad guys, my bad. I do apologize. Oh shit, just drop down. So perhaps there is a reason why why you wanted red to do this challenge um perhaps there's some sort of secret that we unlock maybe a new weapon for red perhaps well we'll have to wait and see these guys are doing a lot of damage The good thing about this duo, it generates so much stagger. Like, actually insane though. Like how much uh, stagger these two can generate. A mega potion. I'll do. Um, be able to get up on that or is that just going back on ourselves perhaps it's just a quicker way we don't know. it's a bit high up that to be jumping off but so we'll use a uh, chilling raw all the charge on barrett Good enough. Where the hell you go? I know you can do it. Give it to me. 
The Baron's in a bit of trouble here. I'm gonna help him out. We'll switch to Barrett and help him out. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, point blank. Let's go. Oh my god, that damage. It hits them all. Oh my god. Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. What the hell is that? Looks like a bloody predator or something. Or a Dark Souls character. He's a key. Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. I won't be surprised if I don't have to fight one. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Okay, press and hold L2 near an object, grab it with your mouth, release the button and drop it, initiating combat, cause you drop it, grab the gear artifacts, scattered around the cavern, ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. We certainly will do that, but not today, I'm afraid, as we have come to the end of this episode. But please, make sure that you are subscribed, hit that thumbs up, ring the post notification bell, all that jazz. And make sure you stay safe, look after one another, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.